Learning words or grammatical schemes on their own is practically useless if we don't learn how to use them. How will we know how to use them? For children to understand a language at a deep level, they must understand the whole language environment, because it is this environment that gives a word its meaning, value, and function as a tool in the toolbox they collect. Even if you are the only participant who doesn't speak Chinese, it doesn't matter. Remember, the goal is for your child to master the language, and who knows, maybe it will encourage your child to learn as well. After all, the more opportunities they have to use what they have learned, the better. However, if you are not a native speaker, it is important to understand that your child will learn a language differently than you. And it is important that they are exposed to Chinese as much as possible in its natural form. There are other ways to give your child a chance to speak Chinese, such as Chinese language schools where they can communicate one-one with online teachers, with resources for their level and learning plans to keep them on track. After all, the ultimate goal of learning Chinese is to be able to communicate normally with other people in Chinese, to interact effectively with people for whom Chinese is a native language and culture. For example, instead of giving your child candy, letting him watch a movie or play with a toy when he is learning Chinese, acknowledge and praise the work he has done. For a child who is not new to the world of Chinese, Learning rudimentary Chinese phonetics is the best option. Many parents who want their children to learn Chinese are often at a loss. Phrases provide context, and over time the child will instinctively know which words are appropriate for certain situations, and will be able to form emotional connections to the words. So try to go to Chinese parties or gatherings of Chinese friends more often and take your children with you so that they can communicate more in Chinese. Fortunately, as with other languages, there are certain approaches that work best when learning Chinese. If children know that they are making an effort to learn, they will focus on learning for fun, not for reward. Once you learn Chinese, ask your child to practice with you. One of the best ways to teach children to read characters is to use the objects around us by Sticking sticky notes on the furniture in the house, such as writing chung on the bed and Y on the chairs. As we learn phonetic sounds, we want to make the process as fun and rewarding as possible for the child, appreciating their efforts and encouraging them to keep trying.